I think to me, it's like, okay, if you're, if you have a rare disease state that has all these kind of issues that cross, you know, barriers between specialties, then I think you've got to look at it as, as, as a group of people who need to understand exactly what those specialties are. Uh, and so, or exactly what those challenges might be. And so from that perspective, what I have always kind of thought was great about this, the, the, the work that you guys have done is you say, okay, we're going to get a team that understands this one disease. And that's what we did with Cushing syndrome when we worked with you. And that team is going to have people who know how to work with insurance companies. The team's going to have people who know how to work with physician offices that team's going to have people who know how to work with patients, and that team's going to have a clinician, nurse practitioners, uh, pharmacists, whatever, that know how to understand, you know, if someone says something that kind of triggers you to say, geez, what's going on there? How do we, how do we understand that? That person sort of can help connect the dots for the, for the rest of the group, and they may need to, you know, bring two or three physicians to the table to help someone understand if, if a patient's having a challenge. So. I think kind of to summarize what I would say is you really need to understand what you're solving for. And I think in rare diseases, what you're solving for are sort of the unique attributes that fall between um, the specialties. Because if you tell a neurologist about a metabolic problem, they may just say, go talk to the endocrinologist. But the endocrinologist may say, well, that depends like they also say their fingers are tingling, right? And so it's really important for someone who's who's understands the disease state irrespective of how they were trained so that they can say, Hey, we need to get all three of us together so we can do the right thing for the patient. And, and to me, you can't automate that, right? That, that is a, that's one of the things that makes rare disease patients and families so frustrated, right? Is, is they keep getting bounced back and forth between places. And so, so you need to understand it and you need to, serve it to them in a way that that sort of is central to, to what's really going on. 